For each of the problems here, you may pause the video and try it yourself. Let's graph this first. So this is already in standard form. And since we have a minus here, it's, gonna, it's going to be a hyperbola. Okay. So let's draw x, y axis first. So we need to find where the center is at. Center is at 2 comma negative 3. You have to look at this, set it equal to 0, set it equal to 0, and solve for x and y. 3, right there, that's going to be the center. And the positive value here, where x something is positive, y something is negative, the positive value underneath here, that's going to be a squared. Okay, I'm just, I'm just going to call it a squared equals 4, which means a is 2. Okay. That 2 is underneath x here, so that determines how you go left and right. So I'm going to go left, 2 units, and then right, 2 units. Okay. Now, what's underneath y? Let me extend this a little bit. Underneath y, we have 9, so square root of that, it's going to be, so b squared, I'm going to call it 9, b is going to be 3. So I'm going to go up. And down three much so from the center always from the center one two three right there okay and then we're going to draw a rectangular box okay those dots being the midpoint of each size here okay and then if I draw my diagonal of that box that I just created it always has to go through that uh, center right there Okay, and those are going to be my asymptotes. So right there. Okay, that's those are my asymptotes. Um, the graph here is has to be opening right and left. Whatever is positive here, x is positive. You see y, you have a negative in front. So whatever positive here, if x is positive, it's going to be left and right. If y is positive, it's going to be up and down. Okay, that's what hyperbola should look like. So that's my vertex now. Just follow the uh, just follow the asymptote like that. Make it curvy. Go make it all pointy like that. Okay, so that's how you graph the uh, hyperbola for these. Let's find uh, foci. There are two. Okay, each one of them is inside the hyperbola here. You have to find C. C is a length uh, that's from the center to one of the uh, foci there. Okay, so C square is going to be A square plus B square. Whatever the denominator here, just add them together. Okay, so we have C square is equal to, what is that, 13. So C is going to be square root of 13. Okay, so that's approximately 3.6-ish, I need to know that value about so that I have to go three units, let's see, one, two, three units and a little bit further, then one, two, three units a little bit further here. And then I'm just going to label that uh, in a minute, okay? So our C is going to be radical 13, square root of 13 from the center. Just keep that in mind, okay? So. I plotted everything. Let's uh, label all the points here. So center, it's already labeled 2, comma, 3, negative 3. So from 2, comma, negative 3, I'm going to go left and right square root of 13 much to find two for, for the uh, both both side there. So starting with 2, I'm going to go right and left square root of 13. But then y value stays the same because I didn't go up or down. So those are my two four side. This one obviously is 2 minus square root of 13, comma, negative 3. This one is 2 plus square root of 13, comma, negative 3. Now, these uh, vertices. Vertices are 1, 2 units away from the center, right? So it's going to be uh, 1 is at 0, comma, negative 3. And the other one is at, uh, so 2, 3, 4, 4, comma, negative 3. Okay? the equation of the asymptotes there. This is pretty easy. All you got to do is whatever the inside the parenthesis for y, just write it there. What do we have? I'm just going to write. So these are equations of the asymptotes. 
okay? It's going to be y plus 3, whatever is there, without the square, just, just write it. And then you have to figure out the one of the slopes here. So the easiest way is just count how many you go up from the center and right. So we're going to start from here, and we're going to end up there, okay? So let's see, 1, 2, 3. We went up 3, so up 3, and then 1, 2, right, 2. So you know how slope is always rise over run, but it's going to be plus or minus because you have one over here, one tilted right there. And then just whatever x term you have, just write it there, x minus 2. That's it. That's how you come up with the equation of two asymptotes. Let's do another problem. Again, you may pause the video and try this by yourself first. Come up with an equation and graph. So we have 1 comma negative 2. That's going to be our center of our hyperbola. And one of the focus is at 4, 2. So 4, negative 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 2. That's uh, one focus. And one vertex is at 3 comma negative 2. So that's one vertex. If this is a center, and that's uh, uh, one of the uh, vertices, you see how it's two units right? That means you have another one at two units left right there. So that's going to be 3 comma negative 2. That's uh, one vertex. And this is going to be negative 1 comma negative 2, making sure that's both symmetric from the center, which it is. And then you have another focus here. At uh, So this is one focus at negative 2 comma negative 2. And that's another focus at 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 comma negative 2, making sure everything's even. Like from the center, that's three units away. So one, two, three units away, you have another focus. Okay, so briefly, just sketch. We know it's going to be, focus is going to be inside the hyperbola. So it's something like that. But we don't actually know how wide it will open. It will be skinny or wide. We don't know that. Let's come up with the equation first. So first of all, it opens left and right, which means x is positive. So I'm going to put x first, but the center is at 1 comma negative 2. So it's going to be x minus 1, whole thing square, over something minus, because it's hyperbola, y plus 2 square over something. It's going to be equal to, let me squeeze to the left, it's going to be equal to 1. Okay, what's under x right there? The first denominator is going to be how far the cent the uh, how far the vertex is away from the center because one two you went right two and then left two so whatever that is that's going to be a to so square that we're going to put four there but we don't know b square okay but we could figure it out how remember c square is equal to a square plus b square so c is a distance from the center to the focus so one two three so c is three is 9, so 3 squared is 9, is equal to a squared was 4, 4 plus b squared. So for b squared, b squared is going to be 9 minus 4, 5. So b is going to be square root of 5. b is going to be square root of 5. That's approximately 2.2-ish. Okay, so I'm going to go 2.2 up, 2.2 down, and then that's my invisible rectangle there okay but we don't need to do that because all we need is a uh, find an equation for this hyperbola so b square is 5 because b is square root of 5 so instead of b square there I'm just gonna put 5 so this is the equation of this hyperbola and the uh, this is a graph for it let's do another one this time we have general equation let's convert it into standard form first so I'm going to put x's together, so 4x squared minus 24x, and then minus y squared minus 4y, and then that constant, I'm going to move it to the right side, subtract it right there. Okay, before I complete the square, remember, I have to factor that out first. So I'm going to factor 4 out, 4x squared minus 6x, leave some space, and then I'm going to factor negative out, so y squared becomes plus... 4y, and then leave some space is equal to negative 16. 
Okay, now you divide this by 2, which is negative 3, square that, and then add 9. But by putting plus 9, I didn't add 9, I actually added 4 times 9. So I'm going to add 4 times 9 over here. Make it smaller. Okay, if this is new to you, go back and watch my other video, changing uh, general form into standard form. Now, divide that by 2, which is 2, and then square that, I'm going to add 4. Again, I did not end up adding 4. I ended up adding negative 1 times 4. So I'm going to do the same thing on the right side. So negative 1 times 4 like that. Okay? 1 I didn't have to put. Now, so this becomes 4 times x minus 3, everything squared, minus parentheses, y plus 2, everything squared. Now that's going to be equal to 16. Okay, so remember this has to be equal to 1, so I'm going to divide all the terms by 16. Everything there. Okay, so I have x minus 3, whole thing squared, over 4 minus y plus 2, everything squared over 16 is equal to 1. So let's graph that now. So remember our center is going to be 3, negative 2. So 3, negative 2. I'm going to emphasize quadrants 1 and 4 a little bit. So 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, about there. That's my center. And then underneath x, I have 4. So square root of that, 2. I'm going to go right and left, 2. So right and left, 2. So my center, let me write it. Center is at uh, 3 comma negative 2. And x is positive, so I'm going to have a opening right and left hyperbola. So those are my vertices. Let's label vertices. For from center, which x value is 3, we didn't go up or down, so y doesn't change. Okay, we went right 2, so one of them is 5 comma negative 2. And the other one is at, uh, we went left 2, so it's going to be 1 comma negative 2. Okay. Now, how much you go up and down? Well, 16, so square root of that, it's 4. So I'm going to go up 4 and down 4. So those are uh, the midpoints of a box that I'm going to draw. So right there. And then I'm going to draw my asymptotes, making sure it passes through the center. And then since uh, x is positive, it's going to be, that's my vertex just follow the oops let me change the color so that's my vertex follow the asymptote draw your hyperbola like that like that okay let's find fo two foci so c square is going to be a square plus b square you don't really have to know which one's a or b or a square or b square because you're going to end up uh, adding them up together. Okay, so c squared is going to be 4 plus 16, because they're already being squared, is 20. So c is about square root of 20, or exactly square root of 20, which is 2 square root of 5. So that's about 4.5-ish. So that's about 4.47 or 4.5. Why do I need to know that? Because I need to label where my four sides are. So one, two, about three, four, five, somewhere here. And one, two, three, four, four, four point five, somewhere here. Those are my four side. Let's label where they are. So four side from the center, which is x value is three. I'm going to go right and left two square root of five. Okay. So and then comma y value stays the same, which is negative two. Okay, so those are my red dots, and my vertices are here, the green dots, and oh, equation of the asymptote. That's easy. Whatever y here, without the square, write it down. I'm going to write it in uh, white color here. y plus 2 is going to equal to, get the slope from the center, find out how much we go up. We went up 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's going to be 4 plus or minus 4 over how much we went to here, so 1, 2, 2, which is going to be what? 4 over 2 is 
2. So our slope is plus or minus 2. And then whatever here, just write it. Multiply by x minus 3. Let's do another example. You may pause the video and come up with the equation of this hyperbola. Okay, let's look at this one now. First of all, where is the center? Center is at, center is at 0, 0, which is nice. And then you, when you look at it, it opens left and right. So x is being positive. So I'm going to put x squared over something minus y squared over something. Should it go to 1? That's our standard equation. So from the center here, we know we went right and left 2 to get to that uh, vertex. So underneath x, it has to be 2 squared, which is 4. But when you look at this box, we know that we went up. 1, 2, 3, 4. So square that is going to be 16. That should do it. 